Hey man, I'm Sonic Kim, America's face of dating, and today we're going to be talking about the worst mistake you could make with women. And I want to see if you guys can guess it in this client result here. But, of course, right when I start recording, there's a, a siren going off down there in the streets. <laughs> Even all the way up here you can hear it, which is just crazy to me, but that's just how it goes, right? It seems to be a theme around this time for some reason whenever I have recording time for Team SK. But so many of you guys are so close to dating quality, but the last piece of the puzzle just won't connect. And if you can't connect that last piece of the puzzle, then you're just never gonna date quality. But it's also very predictable. So it's probably because you're missing this, you're missing this last piece and you're making this mistake that I'm about to tell you guys. But especially if girls are going cold on you, watch until the end so we can fix this. But this is Thomas here, and he's 38 years old. He joined my program, Arrows, Effortless Romance on Site, my dating mastery system, and had never been on a date in his life. In his life. Like, I'm, I'm so proud of him because he applied the concepts, and now after a few weeks in my program, he got the first date he's ever been ever even been on. Like, read this really quick. Earlier this afternoon, Sunday, I had my first date with a woman in my lifetime. And it was, it was an accomplishment. That is an accomplishment. The woman I dated had a career in the life sciences, enjoyed arts just like me. During the date, we dined at an Irish restaurant, visited an art museum, and had some deep conversations. Pretty solid date right there, especially depending on the type of woman that you would want to date. The woman talked a lot about her family, shared some funny stories. Whatever she talked about, I teased her about and shared some experiences based on it. I hugged before and after the date. So, Thomas had a great date with this girl. He crushed it. He hugged her, though. And that's the hint, is that I preach to the guys in Arrows, my program, that you need to kiss on the first date. You need to go for the kiss. And I get it, it's scary. This is the first date he's ever been on in his lifetime. Like, kudos to him for crushing the date, but he just had to go for the kiss by the end of the date. And if, if you don't go for the kiss after the second or third date at the max, please don't let it get to the third date. And this is what we're coaching Thomas on. But if, but if you don't get to the, the kiss by the end of the second date, your chances of getting a third date are significantly lower. And the reason is just because you're not escalating and you're not going for what you want. And she's just going to assume that you're probably gay or she's going to assume that you're just really nice and you're really timid. And she, women naturally, biologically, they want a stronger man. Doesn't mean physically strong, like you have jacked muscles, right? It means that she wants a man who is strong, who goes for what he wants, because that shows her if shit were to hit the fan in the relationship, he'll be able to take care of it and take action and do the right things and the right steps to fix it. But if you never escalate and you never approach, then you are never going to be able to consistently date quality. And that is an internal issue that we have to fix. So, you know, look at this graph. This is probably you right now. You probably have a great career, but you're stuck between this red triangle and this green circle. And you worked hard to get to your career. But dating seems kind of foggy and unclear. You're getting ghosted, rejected. You're on the dating ass. Maybe you had one girl, but, but it kind of went sideways pretty quick. Or maybe you went through a divorce or a breakup. And you've had a couple relationships, but you don't know why they went wrong. And you can get numbers, but you can't sustain it to a relationship. You literally just need to learn natural attraction. Especially if you have your career ordering. It, like your career is in order, you live in a nice place, literally all you're missing is natural attraction. No, crazy enough, you don't need to get a passport and go to Brazil and bring someone back from Brazil. No, you don't need to do that like the passport bros tell you to do, which is absolutely fucking ridiculous. You don't need to make or, or be six foot tall and be jacked to get women. No, you don't have to be that like red pill geeks tell you. You just need to learn natural attraction. Like... It's it's so effortless, but some people just make it so challenging. And I get it. It sucks. Like, when you're right here and you think that you have something and then she goes cold on you, it sucks, man. I've been there a lot. Trust me. Or, like, when you freeze up and you don't know what to say, it fucking sucks. And then it looks really fucking awkward, right? Or you get a date and then she says, I'm just not interested. Dude, you're being way too logical. You're being way too nice. And this game with women is emotional. You need to be an emotional person. And not, I'm not saying you need to be emotional like you need to cry and shit. 
I'm saying that you need to know how to trigger her emotional side and make her feel something for you. You need to know how to approach, but also how to escalate. And a lot of you guys can get the number where you're surrounded by beautiful women and a lot of women, but you never approach or you just never escalate. And if that's the case, it doesn't matter how many women you practice on, air quote. There's some guys that will hop on the call with me to do the program. They're like, man, maybe I just need to do more practice. And I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. I'm just like, no, dude. We have a quote in our program. It goes, more plus bad equals more bad. We're men, right? We're logical. We're practical. So more approaches plus bad dating skills is just going to equal what? More of what you don't fucking want. And a lot of people just delude themselves into thinking that, oh, the right girl is just going to show up randomly in life. It's just not true, dude. Hollywood tries to make you believe that. The fake news media tries to make you believe that the right girl is just going to show up. As long as you're just really nice and you're just, you know, just so nice to women and people, the right girl will show up and just want to fuck you. Not true. It's not true. You need to learn the skills in anything in life if you want to get to where you want to be. So stop sending girls paragraphs back and forth. Stop being so damn nice. To make her like you. Learn natural attraction instead. And finally, number three, obviously what we talked about, if you never escalate, then you are never going to be able to consistently date quality. And you want, you want to know a secret? Is that women want to be escalated on. They don't want to risk rejection. They want the man to go for it because that shows he's a man, is that he's going for what he wants, wrapping back to what we talked about earlier, she wants to see that you're strong enough to go for what you want because in the relationship, if shit were to hit the fan and maybe you had kids with her and your kids are in trouble, would you just sit back and let her handle it or would you take action and take control and fix that? She wants a man that takes control and takes care of business. And I used to get rejected. This is me today with my dream relationship. That picture's actually on the wall right there next to the dope plaques, right, that are basically glowing. But that's us, me and my girlfriend, swimming with a dolphin. And, you know, before her, I, I used to get rejected. I, I got cheated on. One, one of my ex-girlfriends, she was, she was a cheerleader for a pro team, and then she ended up fucking my best friend. And I can actually see the hotel from my, my view here that I caught them, you know, in bed together. I write about that in my best-selling book. And as you can hear, my chair needs some oil on it because it's squeaking a little bit. But this is my best-selling book, Waking the Core of Man. If you guys have not read this book... You must like pain and rejection because I talk about that a lot and I talk about how to avoid that and fix that in that book. But yeah, I got cheated on and she cheated on me twice with my best friend and it really affected me and affected my confidence for a while, for a long time in my life until I finally got a mentor because I was so frustrated that I couldn't date the women that I wanted to date. So frustrated I got a mentor and I finally started working on this stuff and I fixed this in just a matter of weeks. I started dating my girlfriend and we've been just... We had our four years three days ago. So it's just been an, an amazing fucking relationship. and Just full of love and just, it's been amazing. And this is Nick here, who is now in his dream relationship. And he was like, dude, my life is set up. <laughs> I just need to figure out, you know, that girl and that relationship piece. And I, I, I love when guys come to me and they're just like, dude, I need to figure out that because I have everything else going for me. I just need to figure this out. And they do my program and they work with me because they figure this shit out so damn fast. So damn fast. And Nick figured it out within a matter of four weeks to start dating this girl. And now he's in his dream relationship with this girl. He's been absolutely crushing it. And it's like, dude, like same with Mason. It's like, do you want to be like us? Or do you want to continue to get friend zoned? Because what you're currently doing is just not serving you, obviously, if you're here. And, you know, do you want to keep having girls not take you seriously? right? When you know you're a catch, it's painful. And there's really only two paths. It's like, dude, come work with us in Arrows and fix this in a matter of weeks or just continue doing what you're doing and spend years of your life trying to figure this out when you can just invest with us. And you can break the payments down if you absolutely had to, like Mason did. You can break it down with a firm to like 120, 130 bucks a month at the minimum. It's like, if you can't do that, then you probably shouldn't be fucking dating. Do you know what I mean? They're like, like, look at Mason. Just had back-to-back -back dates tonight, not even planned. Went for dinner with this girl I met online and we've been talking to. Followed kayaking. Goes on a date. Number two, after kayaking and fishing, this other girl I met online had messaged me and told me to swing by her place. So we decided to go see the Deadpool movie, drove her Jeep. Then they ended up sleeping together. It's as simple as ABC when you apply natural attraction. And it's like, if you want to be like me or like these guys... 
and you want, and you're serious about fixing your dating life and you know that something has to change and you're just you're re just ready to fucking fix this and change then there's a link in the description below you can actually book in a call with me personally or my team hop on a call with us we'll see if you're a perfect fit for our program and then we'll walk you through that and get you going in the program or just message me on Instagram or Facebook those links are also in the link in the description below message me and say directly you're from YouTube though because we get a lot of messages but on that note I'm Selna Kim, America's face of dating. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below what you guys want to hear more about. And I'll see you guys next time.